apartment at Born in Hollywood building um, over in Clerkenwell. Basically, it's the most Instagrammable space I've ever been in. It is like blogger paradise. <laughs> and basically, they've set up a really cool blogger workspace. Because if you're a full time blogger yourself, or you're freelance, or you know, you work from home, sometimes you just want to get out of your home. I mean, I know my partner and me, we both are freelance, so you can imagine being 24 hours in the same space, we just want to kill each other sometimes. <laughs> Dell decided um, they have created for two days um, a co-working space for bloggers um, and they're doing really some good talks on, um, it's all about tax, which I know it's really boring, but it is really important. <laughs> so if none of you ever have heard of a co-working space before, basically it's, um, instead of having your own office, it's like a space where lots of people can come and do their work. But it's really, really nice because I think blogging is quite, can be quite isolated. I mean, you know, sit in your room all day and you're doing the work um, and editing, um, which now that I am like freelance, it can be quite hard just to sat in your room all day and that is your office and so you kind of sometimes you're a little bit in on yourself um, so it's nice to get this little social aspect basically it's all to celebrate um, the new Dell laptop um, as you can see it's the XPS one basically, I carry my laptop, I've got mine in my bag right now and it is massive and heavy and clunky and definitely not a blogger stylish um, laptop <laughs> it is pretty light, they're probably going to kill me for doing that. This would fit in my handbag because mine does not, it has to go over a sack and it's not very stylish. I'm going to show you around now about the building and um, show you how I work because I know my parents often ask me, what do you do all day? <laughs> so parents, I'm going to show you. Dress for your working day. Would you go to an office in a corporate job in your pajamas? No, I didn't think so. Have a shower, get dressed. Put some sensible clothes on. I'm not talking you have to wear a suit, but just dress in nice clothes and then start your day. Create a specific place to work. I don't mean that you always have to work from your desk at home. You can go to co-working spaces, coffee shops, or yeah, work from your desk. But what I mean is, make sure you have a space where you do your work and it's only for your work. Do not be one of these people that work from your bed or your sofa. If you do, you're blurring the lines between your home life and your work life and that's when things become messy and unproductive. Get up and start at a set time each day. Because there's no formal structure, it can mean you can end up becoming unproductive and procrastinating. Set your working day hours and then stick to them. At the start of the day, write a list of everything you need to do. As you have no boss telling you what to do, you can forget and so have a checklist just to make sure that you don't forget anything, including deadlines. That'll be the worst. If you work from home, take at least one break outside. You can't spend your whole day locked inside your house. Take half an hour at lunch just to walk around the block and clear your head. And finally, know when to stop. The problem is working from home is that because the lines are getting more blurred, you can continue to work for hours and hours after you normally would. Oh, I just want to check that email at midnight. No, don't. You need to make sure that you have a home life as well. You'll be unproductive, miserable, and things will just escalate and you'll become unhappy. Stick to the working hours that I mentioned earlier, and then don't, unless it's absolutely necessary, check your emails after those times. Did any, everyone bring a child to sacrifice? No? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>